it's Natalie. I think we could all admit that we would like to be thinner and burn more calories with doing less. So before we get to that, let's talk about what metabolism is in the first place. Metabolism is the process of breaking down nutrients, carbohydrates, fat, protein, and alcohol if it's there, to get fuel to your body, to do things like repair cells, build muscles, re uh, heal tissue, send nerve signals to copy DNA, contract your muscle tissue, and on and on. <laughs> The rate of your metabolism depends on certain factors like the calories you'll burn because of what your genes tell your body to do, also how many calories you take in through food and drinks, and how many calories you burn through activity. Now some interesting facts about metabolism. Every pound of muscle you have burns about 35 calories while you're doing nothing, just sitting on the couch, versus every pound of fat you have burns only 2 calories. When you crash diet, you do encourage your body to store nutrients rather than use them for energy. If you have too much thyroid hormone, yes, it raises your metabolism, but it will also result in significant health problems. So you wanna get that balance and under control if you think that's an issue. During rapid growth or rapid development, like in infancy or the teenage years when you're having growth spurts, that will raise metabolism, as well as when you're sick, have fevers, um, or after you are healing from an illness or an injury. Men typically have higher metabolism because in part they have more muscle mass. As you age, your metabolism decreases about five to 10% for every decade that you get older. The key is though, if you are sedentary, that's true. Now, if you remain active your whole life and you carry that on over into the decades as you get older, then your metabolism only slows about 0.3%. So that is an awesome statistic right there. That's more motivation to stay active as you get older. And that thermic effect of food or how many calories your body needs to digest foods really only accounts for about 5% of your metabolic rate. So there really are more other important factors to focus on that will affect your metabolism which we are gonna review in our next video, how to rev up your metabolism, so stay tuned.